hope you're doing absolutely awesome. I've been getting a lot of questions about this little thing here recently. It's the Saint Rock React IR. It's an impulse response loader with like tons of different features as well. Like it's got this resonance switch. Uh, it can be switched between reactive and passive, and so on and so forth. And I'm not gonna uh, like go through all these features now. Um, it's not going to be a, a review. I just want to show you real quick how I use it to, to capture IRs of my cabs and how easy it actually is. So this is the setup here. We've got my amplifier, the lovely Driftwood Purple Nightmare, and that goes, the, the speaker out goes straight into the React IR. That one has several outputs. It's got the IR out, like a balanced out, um, that we won't be using at this point. It's got a through, like a speaker through, that's the one we'll be using now. So the speaker output of the amp is plugged into the React IR and through into my speaker cabinet, which is in the other room over there. And that one's mic'd with the 57 and a 184 Neumann mic. Those two mics go back into the preamps, uh, the 57 goes into the BAE 1073, and the Neumann 184 goes into this awesome Siemens uh, V276. Those are then summed in Pro Tools and bounced to one track. And the goal is to create an IR from that combined uh, mic sound and if you want you can even like add EQ or whatever treatment you might want to add to your final sound and print that into the AR. So I'm gonna guide you through the process of, of doing that. That's the basic setup so I'll just reamp the track through the amp, through the mic and record it. What I'll also record at the same time is the amplifier's speaker output DI. You don't need a dedicated DI box for that, because the React IR also doubles as that. It's got an, a DI out, so I've already plugged the amp into the React IR, the through out into the cab, and the DI out also into Pro Tools. So what we'll be recording now are the mic track and the DI from the amp at the same time. So let's just do that real quick. So we're now recording the mic sound from the cab. That's this top track here. That's the combined mics. And at the same time, we're recording the DI. That's the lower track here from the amp. I just let this run through the whole song, speed it up a little. Now we've reamped the tracks. This top one is the mics and the lower one is the DI track. This is what the mic track sounds like. And this is the DI track coming straight from the amp. Well, that sounds a bit shite obviously, but we just need that to create the IR from the mic track. So what I'm doing now is export these tracks and then import them into React IR software. See you there. So here we are inside React IR software. This is the mixer view. And this is what we're gonna be doing now. Click on Tone Matcher. This opens this Tone Matcher window. And we select the DI file that we just recorded and exported and load that into Spectrum 1. Then we load the mic file that we just recorded and load that into Spectrum 2. So that takes a second. There we go. And we're matching Spectrum 1 to Spectrum 2. Click on Match. This takes, again, a few seconds. There we go and we'll export the result as our IR file. So on this one we call Mesa 
57 plus 184, because that's what it is. Save. There's our IRR. So we're going back into the mixer view now. This is the first mixing mixer slot. That's what we're going to be using now. It's empty at this point. Simply drag and drop the IR into here. Bam. There we go. Might want to edit it so it's not called empty slot 6 or new slot 6. But Mesa 57 plus 184. And now we burn that to the device, which means copying it over so it's on the hardware. Bam! Takes a minute, or half a minute, or a few seconds actually. So, that's our IR that we just created, copied into the React IR device. And now we're actually going to be using the other output, the Balanced DI output, and record that, like reamp the same thing, record it into Pro Tools, just to compare it to the mic track and see how close it gets. So back to Pro Tools. Now we're recording the uh, amp into React IR and the IR out. So this is not the mic now, but the impulse response we just created. Uh, the cab is actually disconnected now, and React IR is also acting as a load. I'm going to speed this up for you now. So I went ahead and double tracked the mic tracks and the IR tracks, just because it's nicer to listen to. So the top two tracks are the mics, and the lower two are the IR tracks, taken from the uh, Saint Rock React IR, uh, well, impulse response that we just created. So whenever you see the top track soloed, you're listening to the mics, and whenever you see the, uh, the bottom track soloed, you listen to the IR tracks. So I'm going to be switching back and forth, and you can tell me if you hear a difference at all. Here we go. <laughs> So that was damn near identical, wasn't it? I'm quite happy with the device and, and I know you're all gonna ask me now for, for those IRs and usually I don't like to give them out but I figured in this case we kind of created it together so you had a part in it and I thought maybe just like send the IR to, to the guys at St. Rock so they can include it like if you buy one of those uh, React IR devices they could just include the IR. Is that a good idea? I think so. So yeah, um, check the link in the description that takes you to uh, St. Rock's shop and homepage. And if you buy one of those things, tell them that I told you that you're going to get the IR with it. They don't know it yet, I just hope they're going to honor my promise here and send you this IR. Only if you buy the thing though. Take care guys.